NBAA's 2014 Business Aviation Convention and Exhibition opens in Orlando, Florida this week. And according to the group's president, Ed Bolin, the business aviation community is in a growth state of mind. Well, I think they're really feeling stronger about the industry than they probably have at any point since the Great Recession. And I think we can say now definitively, 2014 is a strong year for business aviation. Fuel sales are up, flight hours are up, the inventory of used airplanes is beginning to reduce, which means the prices are stabilizing. The mood is generally upbeat. We've had a strong year, and we expect it to continue for several more months. More than 1,000 exhibitors are set to fill the Orange County Convention Center this week, and out at the Orlando Executive Airport, around 100 aircraft are set to pack the static display. For all the optimism being exhibited at the show this week, NBAA remains vigilant to what it sees as threats to the viability of business aviation, such as the prospect of user fees once again being proposed as a fix to the FAA's budget shortfall. I think a lot of focus in 2015 will be on the future of the FAA. 2015 is what we call an FAA reauthorization year. We'll need major legislation that will give the FAA the authority to operate for three or four years. And every time there is a major reauthorization year, questions comes up about the governance of the FAA, the structure of the FAA, and of course the funding of the FAA. Will we continue to have fuel taxes? Will we turn to a system of user fees? How will this all play out? So NBAA and of course its members will be very engaged in the debate. And especially in an election year, the association has to be alert to pop-up issues such as new security requirements. Certainly security has been something that has been top of mind since 9-11. We've all worked on a large aircraft security program uh, that presumably is in the final stages of the TSA review. However, as you know, uh, announced changes at the TSA with long-term administrator John Pistol announcing his retirement. So we'll have to follow that closely. And of course, anytime during a year, you will get kind of pop-up surprises. We had one this year when we heard the FAA was promulgating new rules related to sleep apnea. So there are always issues that we will be dealing with. The important thing is that our community stays vigilant, we stay engaged, we are aware when things are breaking, and then we make our voice heard. We make the size and significance of the business aviation industry felt in Washington, D.C. If you're in Orlando this week, be sure to pick up a copy of AIN's daily NBAA convention news. Even if you're not here, there's no need to miss any news from the show by staying tuned to AINonline.com.